We have already produced a video discussing the seven stages of awakening, which you may already be familiar with. At the culmination of these seven stages lies the concept of lucidity in everyday life. Then you can see in this state that we are in our everyday consciousness in a, yes, in the deepest possible hypnosis, matrix hypnosis at all. Therefore, we were not only subjected to amnesia by these machines that induce forgetfulness, but we also possess hypnosis machines in this location. The force that repeatedly holds us in this profound state of trance, preventing us from recognizing our true selves and our origins, and disguising this reality as effectively as possible. We don't see them either questioning. When you suddenly fall out of this hypnosis, you realize how strong you were in this hypnosis. You can see what is camouflaged in this reality. However, one suddenly recognizes and perceives all the numerous benefits that come with achieving lucidity in everyday life. Life, and that's exactly what this video will be about today, about the matrix hypnosis that we will all be placed under as soon as we incarnate. Ja, das ist korrekt. In einigen unserer Videos haben wir bereits die Vergessenheitsmaschine, die Amnesie-Maschine oder Oblivion erwähnt. Diese Maschinen sorgen dafür, dass sich eine Schopferseele in ihre Inkarnation nicht an ihre vorherigen Leben erinnern kann. Furthermore, it also ensures that one does not remember who they truly are. The speaker is discussing the importance of understanding one's origins and the process of entering the matrix. In the modern world, each one of us possesses either an identity card or a passport, both of which contain a name bestowed upon us by our parents, a date of birth that we are unable to verify independently, but have been informed that it signifies our birth and so forth. Upon entering into incarnation, we immediately acquire a new identity. The concept of a cover identity or an identity that supersedes our true identity. We carry this identity with us as we go about, yet it seems to elicit no recollection within us. When it comes to reincarnation, this is a common occurrence. Many individuals struggle significantly to recollect their past or even earlier lives. The content of the original text is related to a machine that causes amnesia, preventing us from accessing the memories mentioned earlier. In addition to the machine for oblivion or amnesia, there is also a hypnosis machine, one might say. This hypnosis machine ensures the most extensive hypnosis known to date. The aforementioned is not even as potent as a hypnosis session conducted by a professional hypnotist. In this particular context, it is crucial to emphasize the necessity of breaking through this hypnosis as the initial step and subsequently breaking through the amnesia as the second step in order to exit the matrix. Naturally, we will provide you with a range of tips and techniques to help you learn how to manage hypnosis, how to gradually exit the state, or how to completely disengage from it all at once. There is also a possibility that we have found, and this possibility is to achieve lucidity in everyday life. Yes, the concept of hypnosis within the matrix is quite profound and powerful. It's remarkable how one may not even realize that they are under the influence of hypnosis hypnosis and that's the more or less scary thing about it we are all given a mind and the ego which is a part of our psyche plays a significant role in maintaining our continuous pleasant and superficial everyday reality it does so effectively to the extent that we do not find the opportunity to critically examine it as everything appears to be running smoothly the process of hypnosis within the matrix serves the purpose of preventing us from recognizing for example the extras within the matrix. It prevents us from realizing that the matrix or our everyday. The reality is either a highly advanced computer or a computer simulation. Furthermore, the hypnosis induced by the matrix also ensures that the buildings are perceived as solid and compact rather than merely as a backdrop. 
When one enters a dissociative state, for instance, they are able to suddenly perceive the extras and naturally the backdrops that have been arranged within a sequence of perception. The intention is to deceive us into believing a specific reality. Dissociation is indeed the initial step in attempting to disrupt this profound hypnotic state. Yes, you recognize it as soon as you have exited hypnosis, is how heavily our reality is disguised. You realize that everything, everything is just an act. Everything that you do is merely an illusion, suggesting that one is within a... From an emotional perspective, the ego is deeply embedded in a state of profound duality, representing the deepest possible form of separation. Indeed, the process of exposure does not solely pertain to oneself, but also encompasses everything beyond the limits, leading to a sudden realization of the true identity behind it all. When du auf eine andere Person triffst, bist du in der Lage, unmittelbar ihre Wachren Absichten zu erkennen. Solltest sie versuchen, dich zu tauschen, wirst du sofort bemerken, ob sie sich hinter einer Maske verbergt, ob sie ihre Wachren Absichten verschleiert und ob sie auf richtig und ehrlich ist. You recognize the intention behind all situations, behind all of them actions. In reality, everything is camouflaged, and this is not visible in the normal, everyday state. This camouflage is truly fascinating. And when reality is suddenly exposed, and you have everything recognized and know. When you have this inner knowledge, there is a sudden absence of doubt, and no longer any rational barriers in your way. And suddenly you realize that this is the person who is responsible for doing that, and that's the reason for it. It's quite evident that all of this is completely fabricated. In a dissociative state, one becomes aware of the true nature of the world. A person who has truly succeeded in entering the dissociative state perceives the reality as it truly is. The reason it is challenging is due to the difficulty in persuading individuals to believe differently from what they have perceived within the dissociation. The reason they are able to perceive is because the truth has the potential to be articulated in its truest form, is how everything is really structured. You don't see everything at once. It's not like that. So the knowledge is not 100% served on a silver plate tray. However, one is able to perceive small fragments of truth. As one remains in this state for a longer period of time or experiences it more frequently, one begins to observe an increasing number of these small fragments. And so these small pieces function as puzzle pieces that can be collected and then assembled. Eventually, this forms a larger picture of reality, and we can ensure that this broader picture of reality encompasses all realities and also brings about significant changes. The worldview that we encounter in our daily lives from teachers' parents is intense and strong. Politics, society, economy. Yes, all of the information that has just been communicated has been conveyed. Indeed, dissociation is a method that can be used, but once you have completely emerged from the state of hypnosis in one swift motion, swoop, you won't just get it puzzle pieces and you have to put it all together, because then it is suddenly, the whole reality is instantly exposed. It's similar to being on the holodeck when the computer malfunctions and suddenly you're unable to see any of it. Anymore. It's not that bad. There are a few more stages according to the lucidity in everyday life. But the complete unmasking a punch can knock your socks off. But it is very... Yes, absolutely. That certainly takes you by surprise. You're absolutely right. It also has a shocking effect. It's entirely possible that it could be shocking. You, some less, others more. However, the point you made earlier regarding the concept of duality and the division among individuals holds significant importance in the context of this hypnosis. The state of forgetfulness can continue to remain active. If the entire human race were to unite and all individuals were to work together towards a common goal, the appearance of our world would be drastically altered. The reason it is crucial is because the matrix has been designed in a manner that allows for the existence of duality. This includes the coexistence of good and evil, as well as the interplay between bad and good, and so on. When we consider the fact that our matrix represents a computer-generated simulation, 
It is interesting to note that this can also be recognized when observing images of the planet Earth, where we currently reside. You can see all the continents on it, and if you had the opportunity now, you would do all of them now when you cut out. When observing the different parts of the land, it becomes apparent that they can be pushed together. They all seamlessly fit with each other. This indicates that there must have been a period in time when there existed a single landmass, a unified continent, and bodies of water. When we observe this, we can discern the symbolism embedded within. The separation of the continents has led to the emergence of diverse languages, distinct prehistoric eras, varied cultures, and even differences in physical appearance. All of these factors have indeed contributed to this division, to the dualism. When you observe closely, you will also suddenly realize that the people around you exhibit a sense of duality. The individuals are deeply entangled and ensnared in their everyday reality. They are completely immersed in their own game. This becomes readily apparent to you all of a sudden. They approach their role with great seriousness. Therefore, they perform with utmost importance in whatever they are currently engaged in. The original text discusses the somewhat amusing yet also somewhat alarming nature of the situation, highlighting how deeply the matrix holds us in its hypnotic grip and how challenging it is to break free from it. Of there, because this doesn't just affect a single person plays a role, but rather humanity as... With the exception of the extras, whoever they may be, all creator souls are indeed affected by this profound hypnosis. It's quite a substantial challenge, I must say. Consider, for instance, the idea of wanting to make a change in your life. What is typically recommended in the spiritual sector when it comes to this? Belief programming, reprogramming, reconditioning, affirmations and suggestions are all important tools for personal development. It's fascinating to explore why these techniques exist and why they are utilized in the way they are. The reason for doing this is to identify and replace negative beliefs with positive ones. Why is this important? It's a way to self-hypnotize and reprogram your mindset. In order to modify the previous hypnosis, it is important to note that beliefs do not dissolve the main hypnosis, but it is possible to make changes to small elements. For example, you always believe that you are poor, so it is recommended that you now build up beliefs that are, just say that you are rich, that you are wealthy or wealthy, that you earn well. And so, the translation provided is, these are all programs that attempt to modify certain aspects of your hypnosis that you have experienced so far in order to improve your well-being. Better for you, and then you realize that we are actually in hypnosis condition. Why is counter-hypnosis necessary? Even. And as soon as you fall out of this hypnosis, you will realize that every belief was ever superfluous, and they are also instant all disappear. You will no longer have any beliefs. Then suddenly you are like a blank. In this state, I am unable to exert any external influence. No one can deceive you any longer. It is likely that you will suddenly recognize the true orchestrators behind all these schemes and whatever else is involved. So in the future, you will find yourself in a position where you will not only be required to question politics, but also to suddenly have the ability to recognize and comprehend them. This includes gaining a deeper understanding of the economy, the industry, and all related aspects. You will instantly recognize everything just as it truly is. This is an incredibly mind-blowing experience. Yes, as I mentioned, the concept of belief programming serves as a form of counter-hypnosis in specific thematic areas. And of course, let's not forget about the dreams. When we wake up in the morning, dreams are something that, for most people, are just a bit hazy and unclear, you know? The fragments of memories that one can somehow recall in the morning are closely linked to hypnosis. This connection between memory fragments and hypnosis is an intriguing aspect that deserves further exploration. Hypnosis, also related to hypnosis or what you will then realize when you're out, the whole spirituality is also infiltrated. The concept essentially exists, I will elaborate later, that it naturally still holds its significance 
somewhere, you will come to recognize that the sole authentic technique is indeed the stillness of thoughts or dissociation. And everything that you encounter in the realm of spirituality, whether it be through meditation, prayer, or introspection, in this moment I do not wish to imply that it can be disregarded, rather these are all fragments that are being offered to you. At this time I prefer not to mention any specific names. Names now, no, I don't know any names either, but you know who we speak, which are thrown to you because your soul, it is curious, has fascination, wants to learn, wants to develop. And these are the morsels that are thrown at you so that you can develop a bit, but not so much that you suddenly have yours. You question the whole reality and maybe even could wake up. And in the state where you just fall away here, you just realize that it's all a game in disguise, all this spirituality, all the possibilities of being spiritual, but now I want all the procedures or techniques or do not discuss options and methods. Of course, there is also a way to slowly get out of this hypnosis Awakening. Of course, if you have the right things, you can do that too. Happen to gradually come out of this hypnosis at some point. But the only true method is simple and remains dissociation. Yes, one also recalls, for example, the concept of relativism. Relativism asserts that everything can indeed be possible, which is also true. Indeed, this has ultimately resulted in each individual possessing their own unique interpretations within the spiritual domain. There are individuals who hold beliefs in Ashtar, the space command, while others place their faith in Kryon, and yet another group believes in Metatron, the archangel. Additionally, there are those who hold the belief that there is no existence of a matrix. At that point in time, there are individuals who hold the belief that who believe, yes, that the matrix exists, others believe everything is natural, others believe everything is artificial, and, and in the end, this enormous influx of information into the spiritual sector, as Shiva has just explained, ensures the existence of a multitude of opinions. exist. Yes, but what do these opinions ultimately do? They share all the spiritual people because everyone suddenly something believes otherwise. And everyone has their interpretations, their considerations, their own opinions, his beliefs. And that is the reason why we consistently strive to facilitate the process of dissociation as it represents the sole means of entering a state where interpretations become unattainable. This means that the ego is temporarily deactivated and as a result it is no longer capable of accessing the mind, interpreting certain situations and forming an opinion based on them. Dissociation, on the contrary, presents the things in their true essence, transcending opinions, beliefs or interpretations. This is precisely why it holds such significance. It is crucial to recognize dissociation, particularly spiritual dissociation, as a master technique. This is because it allows one to truly perceive the reality of the situation. It is worth noting that anyone who has experienced a dissociative state has also observed all the associated phenomena. It is not the case that one person saw something and another person saw something else, and yet another person saw something different, and still another person saw something else. That, no, no, they all saw the same thing, and that makes it very... Sobald du aus der Hypnose aufwachst und weder so wollen bewusst sein gelangst, wirst du in der Lage sein, weitere Erkenntnisse zu gewinnen. In der Regel erlebst du eine Wirsal von inneren Stimmen in deinem Geist, die auf das Ego zurückzuführen sind. This includes, for example, the individual who experiences doubt, such as the doubter. This individual tends to question decisions, ponder over thoughts, or contemplate various options. For instance, they may deliberate over whether to proceed along one path or another. Do I prefer to do it this way or that way? Oh, I do not know. And getting out of hypnosis also means that you don't have to make any decisions, have to meet. The experience was incredibly thrilling. All of a sudden, when you bite the path, you are simply walking the path because no one is there anymore. Your ego is effectively muted from now on in this sense. And no one has the authority to interfere and dictate which path to take or whether to do it here or there or perhaps not at all, or maybe not, or something else entirely. Suddenly there is only one path, 
and you just take it because then you are more directly connected to yours intuition. Yes, I find it very exciting too. You know your direct path to your true self, to yours reminder to get out of hypnosis. At some point you will see the path within the dissociative condition. You see him at some point and then you know Russia is leaving. Before you go, you run left, right, up, down, and you know not 100% whether that was a good thing or... The point to be noted here is that the mind, when combined with the ego, creates a concealed reality. And this disguised reality then overlays the true knowledge about reality. Dissociation is therefore the only technique that enables one to temporarily deactivate the mind and ego in order to gain a deeper understanding of the true nature of reality. Minutes. Dissociative state for a few minutes or maybe for a few hours, depending on how brave someone is and how open, how strong and how intense he is to his own listening and trust the process. In the next video, we will delve even deeper into the topic of hypnosis or lucidity in everyday life sharing a very captivating experience. That's why we'll now go ahead and tell you the advantages, call it the same, which it has when you are no longer under it. Hypnosis of the matrix stands, or lucid, is in everyday life. We also asked how many people are on this planet, creator souls are actually lucid in everyday life or completely out of it. Hypnosis is, and it's not even for. In my opinion, it is quite unusual and peculiar. Yes, it's actually been a rather disheartening outcome up to this point, that's for sure. So, of course, there are some who are prelucid, so to speak. Maybe more than you think, you don't know. But there is still no way to uncover reality. 100% of the time, especially many in the world. Then let's move on to the advantages. As soon as you are 100% committed to everyday life and 100% out of it, matrix hypnosis. First and foremost, I would like to point out the immediate and unmistakable fact that the body is indeed immortal and that illness, aging and death. The concept of death being a complete illusion is also seen as illogical and non-existent. You immediately expose it and as a result, none of these three things are possible from now on. The belief in good and evil, is it also revealed in that moment? At that moment, one comes to the realization that duality is essentially just another manifestation of illusion and that good and evil actually collaborate with each other. Or, to put it more precisely, that this dualism originates from the very same source. In this state of being unmasked, or when one has achieved complete lucidity in everyday life, one becomes aware of all the disguises and is able to see through them. When something dissolves, it becomes apparent that duality as such does not actually exist, but rather it could be said to be staged. In the absence of emotions, what endures are genuine feelings. The emotions that typically involve judgment will be completely extinguished. Furthermore, it is well known to everyone that individuals may experience blockages, traumas, fears, and similar challenges, all of which can only exist within the framework of dualistic thinking. Of course, these are automatically the self-inflicted traumas from childhood or adolescence, which may have been truly terrible, dissolve as if they had never occurred. Happened. Furthermore, you learn faster and absorb information more quickly on because you no longer have an ego filter. So all the filters you had so far and kept you in the nose have fall away. This means you can now suddenly collect true information, absorb it, analyze it better, and also your mind for the first time really ready to use. Yes, certainly, when one emerges from the dissociative state and the ego and mind re-engage, you will naturally have awareness of what you have witnessed. The experience will naturally bring about significant changes to your existing beliefs. 
However, it will also enable you to communicate to others what you have perceived during the dissociation. When you start interpreting again, you can also tell about your experiences. However, the problem is that problem is secondarily, maybe you can get something in yourself somehow interpreted or something like that, but the primary problem is that the others then begin to interpret what you tell them. And we also notice that when we talk about these conditions or talk about our findings, our conclusions, there we also notice that they are sometimes understood completely differently than we have sometimes presented it this the reason why what we say is only of secondary importance is because it is intended to be merely directional and supportive. Our role is simply to indicate the door, but everyone must walk through it themselves. Aber wichtiger ist, dass jeder, der sich für diese Themen interessiert, der Dissociation erlernen, um es selbst sehen zu können. See, and only when he sees it himself will he become anything understand one. The act of disseminating information about words, which is what we are engaged in, will inevitably lead to misunderstandings, interpretations, and evaluations, as it keeps individuals entrenched in duality. In it, and that's why it's so important that you learn it yourself and yourself, take a look. Well, you can't mention that often enough, can no, no, that's not really the case. Yes, another advantage is that you naturally examine all the disguises, as we have already mentioned, in politics, economics, spirituality, the nature of people, their actions, their mindset, all situations, in short, everything. When you are unmasked, you are able to perceive the true intention behind all things, gaining insight into their true nature, is. And through the knowledge and insights that you have in one, if you recognize a dissociative state, it automatically ensures that there's a lot of mental rubbish, I would say, that accumulates over the course of life, accumulated, disappears. Because then suddenly you no longer have a hundred interpretations of one thing in your head, but only one. That's also very liberating and very relieving when so many thoughts fall away. Furthermore, this ensures that one no longer thinks all the hundreds of thoughts, thereby conserving energy. Furthermore, in addition, it is important to note that many aspects are omitted. It is suddenly recognized how insignificant many things are, considering that the entire reality is being simulated. In this dreamlike state, we find ourselves enacting our respective roles. It is in these moments that we come to a sudden realization of where our true interests truly lie, if I may say so. So as a result, a significant amount is eliminated, which of course leads to a considerable saving of energy as well. Because the thoughts that we think every day, which are estimated to be over 60,000 thoughts, require a significant amount of mental energy to be processed on a daily basis. When you naturally enter into dissociation and suddenly this gains insights and so many routine thought processes are eliminated, then we're not even at 60,000 thoughts a day, then maybe only at 6,000 or 5,000 or when you start to reduce the amount of thinking about the effects, you can already see the lucrative aspect of it. As you accumulate more energy, it also becomes easier to enter into different states of consciousness and to dissociate again. One option is to engage in the practice of lucid dreaming, which involves becoming aware that you are dreaming while still in the dream state. Another possibility is to experience astral travel, where one's consciousness leaves the physical body and travels to other realms. Additionally, one can explore methods to activate their pineal gland, a small endocrine gland in the brain associated with various spiritual and metaphysical beliefs. In general, all the voices in your head disappear. This means that you will succeed in dissociating immediately. That is, because then no... Das Ego und sein Filter sind nur ausgeschaltet, wenn du aus der Hypnos erwachst. Das ist auch sehr angenehm. In addition, we also experience various physical benefits, in my opinion. Say, of course, you also look behind the food industry. The, as a result, it is natural that your allergies will also disappear. This is because you can see here that all of them have been addressed and that they don't really exist. Yes, well, of course, it's about gradually returning to one's blueprint. Therefore, we are emphasizing that this process does not occur in a single day or within a minute. The statement, however, does not imply that it is impossible. 
I would say that in 99% of cases, the approach is to gradually try to achieve the state within the everyday context. Attracts. When considering the current circumstances, it becomes apparent that the need to experience sensations such as freezing, sweating, and fluctuations between hot and cold will no longer be necessary. Additionally, the concept of food, which is currently a significant topic, will also become obsolete. Necessary. You have your energy or astral body, which brings you so much energy. You are no longer distracted or outside. You will then inevitably drained of your own energy. Is what I... Yes, indeed, it's about harnessing one's own energy. So to put it in a more elaborate manner, consider the possibilities within a lucid dream. Lucid dream, then you can roughly estimate what is possible if you are lucid become. In short, this is us. We could have saved the video. No. Yes, that's correct. One simple sentence would have been sufficient. Been enough. Yes, of course, it has many, many more advantages and you can see much more. But since the video is already very long, let's get to it now. Now let's tell you roughly how one can achieve the state of lucidity in everyday life. As I said, there are two possibilities that we have. In this passage, the author discusses the concept of achieving a goal through either a quick or spontaneous approach, as well as a gradual one. The author suggests that they may provide an explanation of the step-by-step -step process to reach the goal. In the initial stage, I would like to emphasize that the first step involves practicing dissociation. The second step is, of course, not necessarily implying that the subsequent step has to follow immediately. No, you should do that simultaneously. I believe that it is important to acknowledge the concept of parallelism. It is about learning to cultivate a healthy sense of skepticism towards reality. When expressing distrust, it is important not to make the mistake of singling out individuals. Avoid picking a specific person and becoming overly suspicious. The main issue here is not about that at all. It pertains to your own selves, the fact that you scrutinize yourselves with suspicion. And of course, it may also involve the reality surrounding you. Maybe you will then discover matrix errors. Yes, just question reality. Is what I see and perceive or interpret? Yes, correct. And of course, it is extremely important to develop this healthy skepticism. It's important to question the reality, to question the matrix, to question the little mistakes that appear in the matrix or seem illogical, and to question the things that make one wonder about the matrix and the same. Also use it on yourself in order to be spontaneously lucid in everyday life and directly experience reality 100% to unmask would be the deja vu. As we have now discovered and in detail in the next video will report. In this context, the term instant awakening refers to the rapid onset of awakening within a matter of seconds or minutes. Upon further exploration, we have uncovered a significant correlation between instant awakening and deja vu, indicating that they are interconnected and serve as a bridge between different states of consciousness. And of course, there are many other options and methods to achieve this step by step because many people may not even want to be within one wake up minute because the shock might be a bit big. Through our videos, we try to educate one person step by step to add. But of course, it could be that from a thousand people watching us, one of them suddenly completely within a the concept of being fully lucid becomes apparent in everyday life. However, before we proceed to elaborate further on this, we highly recommend that you watch our next video on this topic. And dieser Stelle wird es wirklich äußerst faszinierend. An diesem Punkt begeben wir uns in die praktische Anwendung Besierungsweise ja, wie es sich das in der praktischen Anwendung darstellt oder darstellen kann. And I can assure you that what is coming will be very exciting. Yes, this will amaze you. Socks off, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. And if you have a few more comments or yeah, as always, you, you can share in our video. Feel free to express your thoughts by liking and writing comments below. You can share whatever you'd like. And of course, we look forward to seeing you next time. All the best.